Hi, my name is Nicolas Dublé, and I'm going to present you one of Fajnian Space's project of summer 2020, the ESA Spot Joe Challenge, mixing computer vision and AI. Agent Space is a French company based in Toulouse, whose core business is expertise in the observation domain and artificial intelligence. To come back to this project in particular, the aim of the challenge was to detect some geostationary satellites in sequences of five consecutive frames provided by local ground-based telescope. Here is an example of a sequence, and you can have a closer look at uh, one object we need to detect. This problem is difficult because the images have a low signal-to-noise ratio due to the sensor quality and uh, as there is no processing of the data, there can also be cloud cover, atmospheric effects, weather effects or light pollution. Also, there is no specification about telescope location or inclination. And finally, we would also like to detect some satellites which are masked out by star occlusion on some frames. First, the main issue for the deep learning solution is to have a noisy image. And as atmospheric effects represent an important part of the image dynamics, we try to remove them. So we modeled the background using L1 splines, which are mathematical objects. And on the right graph, you can see the result of our preprocessing. So here is one sequence with background removed and the images containing only sparse information. As you can see, only stars, satellites, and some noise. Secondly, even if we have no specification about the telescope inclination, we try to get some by analyzing the stars of the sequence. So we identify some matching constellations in different images in order to obtain two similar point clouds, which will help us for the following. To train our CNN, we use the dataset made available for the ESA Kelvin Spot Joe Challenge, containing 32,000 grayscale images, 20% of which were labeled. So we processed all the images and created the associated masks to our training database. Then we trained several, several unit type CNN and during training we processed augmentation on our images including geometric and radiometric transformations. We trained seven models with unit architecture and during the inference process we practiced test time augmentation which means that for each image, we make predictions on this image and some geometrically transformed images, in our case, vertical and or horizontal flipped images. Finally, we computed the mean of all these predictions to have one map of probability of presence of satellite for each pixel. All images were carried out independently we then have a post-processing to add some coherency in the sequence. And thanks to a smart usage of radon transform and all the prayers that we found before with the star's identif identification, we identified trajectories of objects and can complete these trajectories or remove false positive. This enables us to lower our detection probability threshold from classic 50% to less than 8%, providing better recall without any loss of precision. Here is a small summary of the competition. You can see the evolution of the best score of each team throughout competition. And here we are. As you can see, we started submitting late, at the beginning for August. And that's when the turning point came. Thanks to our post-processing, we were able to take the lead for a short time, ahead of Beijing University. And then, our assembling approach and our tuning phase granted the, the victory. To conclude, this challenge gathered 33 competitors for 3 months. We won it, with an astonishing F1 score of almost 95%, reaching almost the labelization limit. And we also won the Kelvin's Out of the Box Thinking Award, so we are really proud of it. And I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention. You can find any further information on this website. And you can also contact me at this mail address or contact Rosa, who is our business developer. Again, thank you and have a good day.